Hey guys, welcome back. I know I look a little funky right now, but I just decided to sit down in front of the camera and film a chit chatty get ready with me. I do have to go to a baby shower today. It's my sister-in-law's baby shower. And I thought, why not just film it too, especially since I really don't know what I'm gonna do with my makeup and just talk with you guys. I already have my eyebrows done. I did use my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade four. Now I'm just gonna take my Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Concealer and just carve my eyebrows because I feel like I went a little crazy with my eyebrows today. Taking my P. Louise flat brush. And with this concealer, I am going to prime my lids for eyeshadow. So I normally don't really do this, but when I know I did like a horrible job on my eyebrows, this is what I usually do just to clean them up a bit. Okay, so I just speed up that portion just because it does take me a while to do. And I like to be precise. I, knowing me, I'll just mess up my eyebrows right away. So next step is I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. So a little update. I finally contacted someone to do my engagement photos. I'm really excited. Should I do like videos on like a soft glam ideas for like pictures and more and then a more glammed picture idea? I don't know because I'm still trying to decide what I want to do for my makeup and I need to know what I'm going to wear. She still hasn't contacted me back so we'll see how that goes. And then on Thursday of next week, today's Saturday that I'm filming this. I'm gonna go look at dresses. I'm so excited. I'm not really expecting anything. I'm just going to look. So for today's look, I'm gonna use the Vive the Essentials palette. And I really don't know what I'm gonna do. So let me zoom me in just a little bit. All right, now that you guys are zoomed in to my face and ignore this little scab I have right here. I don't know what I did, but that happened. I think I'm gonna add Goodnight, which is this black one right here. And by the way, I took off my nails because I have no time to go get to get a nail appointment right now. So once I have time, I'll have my nails back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take good night. My dog's hair is everywhere. Good night on my L times J Cassa J2 brush. I think I'm gonna place this on my outer V. Ooh, honey. I think the black one I haven't touched yet. Look at that pigment. I'm just adding this right in the outer corner. I'll try and decide later if I want to take in my crease once I see Delicious mixed in with it. And I'm going to take my Morphe M330 brush and this is the shade I'm going to take. Yeah, Delicious. And I'm just going to go on the outer edge of Goodnight. Kind of take this in the crease. And I'm going to pull this shade out just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the black is also dragging in with Delicious, and I like how that looks so far. Now I take my Morphe M518 brush, and I want to take the shade Buff on one side of that brush. Sorry, I'm not really talking as much. It's just when I do my eyeshadow, I just concentrate so hard. I think I'm gonna go back into Good Night, which is that black shade. Slightly drag the outer V a little bit more so it can look more smoked out. 
I'm gonna go back in with Delicious. Again with Buff. Now I do plan on cutting the inner portion of my lid. So taking that same concealer on a Morphe E10 brush and just going in to clean up this area. I think that looks actually pretty nice. Oh, it's almost fall here in California. I think the last day is like the 22nd or 20th, I can't remember. But I'm just super excited for all my fall looks. I feel like I do thrive in summer, but fall, can't wait to pull out like palettes like these and just create so many looks for you guys. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Carrot and apply that to the inner portion of my lid. Using my finger, I'm just going to tap the shade on there. Do you guys want me to do like a more matte look? I know I use a lot of shimmer. I don't know if you guys want me to do something like that. It will definitely put me out of my comfort zone because I love using shimmer. It's just my thing. But I can do that for you guys if you guys want me to. I feel like I'm going to be so lost if I do it, do it. Because if you know, you know, I'm a huge fan of shimmers. Now I did create like a harsh line right here. So I'm going to go back in with Midnight. And just slowly create a diffused look. Ooh. I like that. Not too bad. I thought this was gonna go south for some reason. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and I'll be right back. I didn't realize I was recording I wasn't recording. But what I did was use my rare beauty always an optimist pore diffusing primer in my T-zone. And then now I went in with my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in the shade Chai 210B. As I was saying, thankfully I realized I wasn't recording. I was talking about the holiday collections that are coming out. I saw that Charlotte Tilbury has a holiday palette coming out and I absolutely adored her Bejeweled palette last year. Like I really wanted to do another tutorial with it, but I don't want to bore you guys either. But I know she is coming out with a new one and I think it's gorgeous. I also saw that Pat McGrath is coming out with a eyeshadow palette too and I just, I'm torn. I don't know if I should just get both or get one. You guys let me know. Should I just get both and just review them both and see how they are? Because I think they're equally as beautiful. Honestly, honestly, it's all up to you guys, but you guys let me know. I'm always excited trying out new palettes and I can't wait for fall looks and I can't wait to see what brands come out with for the fall. For concealer, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer in a shade six. Been wanting to do like a video on just a 90s look itself. I am a 90s baby, so I feel like it's only fitting. And everyone's makeup back then was just so gorgeous and very minimalistic. Well, face, com like the complexion, not really the eyes. It's more grungy, but I really want to do that. So I did go ahead and wet my e.l.f. complexion sponge. Now I'm just gonna blend out this concealer. Also, what other makeup launches are you guys excited for that you want me to try out? I feel like nothing really has been wow me lately, except for those palettes that I saw. You guys let me know. Now I'm always down to try whatever you guys suggest. For cream contour slash bronzer, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Patrick Ta Duo in the shade she sculpted. Using the brush, grabbing a bit of that. And going above my cheekbones. Right now I'm just placing it and then I'll start blending. I 
Also, I meant to ask, how do you guys feel about me just posting maybe just two times a week? I mean, I can do the three. It's just, it won't be as consistent. I've just been really busy with work and everything and I feel like I don't want to disappoint you guys. If you guys are okay with that, I can and just do that or just do the three videos and then those would be like more sporadic. To sit down my concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and use my One Size Beauty Translucent Powder. I forgot to mention this in my beauty favorites. This powder is amazing if you haven't tried it. I just haven't tried it with this concealer, so let's see how this looks. I'm gonna press it into my skin. Okay, now that I lightly pressed it in, I'm gonna try and bake just a little bit just to keep this area locked in. Because if you're oily like me, you don't wanna take any chances. I'm gonna go back in with my duo, my Patrick Ta duo, and using my Zoeva 90 Luxe Grand Powder Brush, grabbing their bronzer in this palette, or in this duo, and just bronze up my face while I bake. So yeah, you guys let me know how you guys feel about that. Be honest with me, I'm not gonna be mad. And also taking this bronzer down my neck a bit. I'm still trying to figure out what I wanna wear today too. Now, I don't know if I wanna take my Bougie Rouge Rouge Romance palette for blush or the Rouge Affair. I mean, these are definitely bright and I could probably use an admirer since just it is a muted pink. I think I'm gonna do that. So take an admirer with my Smashbox Buildable Cheek Brush. And just very lightly add it to the cheeks. I don't wanna be too heavy handed with this blush. I mean, that looks good, right? And then I forgot to add a little bit of bronzer to my nose. So I'm gonna go back in with a Patrick Ta duo with my Morphe Sweet Oasis brush. Just bronze up my nose. Connect it to my brow. Just get down my brows. I'm gonna use my Nude Sticks brow gel. I mean, you don't have to get the duo, but I did. They do sell it separately. I just need my eyebrows to be set all day. So go ahead and brush this through. Let me sweep off my bake. So far, I am really loving how my makeup's turning out. So for highlighters, I'm torn between Jaclyn's highlighter or Jamie Genevieve's brand, Vive Cosmetics. I think I'm gonna go with hers. I'm gonna use my Makeup of Mario F3 brush to highlight my face. I think I picked the right one. Should I do a video of you guys picking out my makeup for the day? I think that'd be fun. Or is there any challenges you guys want me to do? Do something different on my channel? You guys let me know. I love posting videos you guys like to watch. So I know a lot of people don't like watching Get Ready's With Me videos, so I try to limit them and do them like maybe once a month or whenever I can. Because I know this is a makeup channel, so I don't want to bore you guys either. I feel like that's like one of my main concerns is boring you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so we can go ahead and do our lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and take my L10 Shade Kiss at J6 brush and take the shade Night and just stamp the shade my, my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take the shade Delicious and blend this all out. And this is my Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill JH40, which I think I didn't tell you guys what pencil brush I've used to blend out the black shade. This is the JH39 brush. I'm gonna go in with the JH40 and take buff. 
and just blend all this out. Just connecting everything. We also feel like you went a little too low. You can always go in with your translucent powder left over your beauty blender and just kind of blend it out, erase it. And then for inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight, I'm gonna take the shade Glimmer. Using that on my Morphe M421 brush. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara and apply this to the top lashes and the bottom lashes. I also feel like I wanna add some brown eyeliner to top and lower waterline. I'm gonna use my Makeup Amaro Master Pigment Pro Pencil in the shade The Perfect Brown and line my top and bottom waterline. I wanna use a black, because I wanna keep this area kinda light since we do have a lot of black on our eyes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my other eye and apply my lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so are you guys even surprised I use my Iconic Lights lashes? I mean, they're such a good lash for any occasion. And then, I did use my Jaclyn Hill lip liner in the shade Bourbon, and then to top it off, I used the liquid lip in the shade Absolutely. Now, the last thing I need to do is add some setting spray. So I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I did have to spray that a lot because I do need this makeup to stay put all day. And with the other side of my sponge, I'm just gonna push that setting spray into my skin. So I really don't know what I wanna do with my hair. It might take me a while to figure it out. Maybe I should just leave it like this. Huh, it doesn't look too bad, right? All right, and the next clip is gonna be me showing you guys what I'm gonna wear. All right, you guys, so this is my outfit. Hopefully you can see. The top is from Zara, and then the pants for the jeans are from Abercrombie and Finch. I really, really love the fit of these jeans. They're really nice. And the top, like I said, is from Zara. And I did get this as a gift from my friend. Oh yeah, and then I have necklace on. It's a Taurus necklace, some earrings, and that's about it. This is what my outfit looks like. Really happy how it came out. I literally changed so many times just to find the perfect outfit. Now I feel like I found it. All right, you guys, so this is the end of this video and I hope you guys liked it. So go ahead and give me a like, comment down below, and also hit that subscribe button before you leave. And see you guys in my next video. Bye.